guys, hear me out. If you see a game that starts with F that's from Epic Games and it's installed, don't blame me. It's just, you know, sometimes you need a game in the event that, you know, your friends don't have any other games, you know, to play with you. So you have it. So just, just, you don't see anything, okay? Let's play Stanley Parable. Never played. Seen a part of it. Kind of scared. Let's do this. Gonna, yes, we're playing Stanley Parable. There's achievements. Oh, don't read the achievements. That would... Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Yeah, I know, it's just a tad bit loud, but it was hard to alt-tab and then fix it. I think this this should be about fine. Alright, so, preface, Stanley works one here. Day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Why is it transparent? What the frick? <laughs> Stop alt tapping, please. Just go. Longest time. Okay. As he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. How the mighty have fallen. Who farted? Okay, dude. I'm not gonna read. Oh, it's 420 room! Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Alright, dude. Frickin' I will touch the 420 door as much as I want to touch the 420 door. Don't make fun of me. 456, 456. Stepping no. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Where is everybody? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret oh. was being held from him? Oh, I have a what he could sure. not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of oh. course... Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Nope, there's no way I could have possibly known that. I'm just, you know, there's nobody here. If you think about it, guys, this is a survival life or death situation. I can't get out of here. I guess I must, I must try this out. Like, Stanley just sat around yeah. twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Frick. Messed it up. Yet incredibly, oh, yeah. simply pushing nope. random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Oh, what? Oh, what? Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened Oof. passageway. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Sen Lozan, thank you for the follow. I saw you on John's stream. It is good to see you. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and giving me a follow. Mind control facility or escape. Mind control facility or escape. Now, he did say that he walked straight, but there's escape. I think because we followed we followed all the orders, we should go mind control. I'm gonna go now. Also, Kai, hand over the auto. Press button. Now the monitors jump oh, their true fired. Wait, where's 420? Where's 420? Hey, it's 420! Stanley's co-workers. Wait, what what number was I? What number was I? Reduced to images on a screen and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place 
where freedom meant nothing. Is that one me right in the middle? Like, I think I'm staring at it. Or 27. Thanks for remembering. One right in front of me looks like my office. Oh, that's 423. I'm right here. 427. Alright, nobody move. Nobody move your eyes. Let's look at it. Oh yeah, that's my office right there. That's my boy. I like how some of these numbers don't make sense. Like, employee 374 is just a hallway. You would not believe your eyes. This looks like an elevator going up. Well, no other chance, no other place to go than up. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Do I get to destroy it? Or he would dismantle the yes! controls once and yes! for all. Yes! Action! Okay, there's one, two. Achievement unlocked. You can't jump. You guys can't see this. It says achievement unlocked. You can't jump. I, I... I just default press the space bar. It freaking it debated me, bro. It freaking it knew. It knew, bro. Mind controls idle, awaiting input, system power. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything <laughs> it stood for. <laughs> and now Vyri is quoting Sun Tzu again or something. It says it says electric shock risk. One of five stars, two of five stars. Somebody tried to copy paste. It does say off. It does say electric shock. If I die here, then remember me. But don't be sad. Blech. Yes. Oh, he wait, I can move. I can move. We're alive, chat. We didn't die. I thought we died. Shackled himself from someone else's Bye, Erichu. Have fun. Thanks for stopping by and letting me know how to do this. Otherwise, I would have been in there forever pressing the red button. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's a little bit of a balloon effect. Dude, look how nice this looks. It's nice. Do on. Frick, now I have to go through the entire thing and do on now, don't I? I will remember you as the person who likes to make me remember the past. I like to help people remember happy times. The supreme... Dang it, Sun Tzu again? God, what... What even is a Sun Tzu? Oh, freak. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I got an achievement. Beat the game. We beat the game! We beat the game!